It's just like how every anime has like a pool episode, a beach episode, summer festival episode. There's also a Valentine's episode. The last episode was a Valentine's episode. I completely forgot that Sagusa was intentionally trying to poison Tatsuya with some, the most bitter chocolate. I forget the reason why though. Is it because she feels like she's being kind of like left behind in terms of romantic interest? I forget exactly why. I'm sure someone can let me know. Honoka actually kind of goaded. Honoka's becoming more and more funnier to me. Shizuku already had a drunk dial in. This episode so far, I'm enjoying these slice of life moments more than the actual plot. What's the fucking plot right now? I don't know. The fucking summon black hole demons, uh, some gravitational theory parasites. I don't fucking know. But the maid robot is possessed, right? So let's see what happens in today's episode. This this is a gilf, not a milf, a gilf grandma, okay? I mean, the gilf is... Oh my god, she's taking really nice care of herself. As... Well, I don't know. Could she do that to Unisama? Maybe I'm underestimating, you know, um... The serious too much, but... She must have, like, an equivalent of material burst, right? What is... Brionek? Brionek? What is this? Is this like the equivalent of like a material burst? Huh. Well, there has to be a reason why she is also a strategic tier magician, right? There is some crazy level of power she has. What is it? Yes, mama. <laughs> I love that every time. <laughs> Do they know? No, this is a different one, is it? I'm not sure. There's multiple models, I think. Never mind, so they do know. Okay, I thought Pixie would get a quick one on somebody. The chest area? Okay, why the chest area? So the Pixie's important stuff are located in the chest, okay. But the Parasite can, you know... I'm not sure if Pixie is completely robotic, but Parasite can... The host can be biological, like inorganic or organic. Looking for... Onisama specifically or just anybody, I guess? Because I don't think the Parasite's target is Onisama. <laughs> that creepy smile. What kind of information did it get? Something about Onisama? Maybe something about Lina? Why would the Parasite... Hello, Pixie. Are, are you back to normal? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> light down face up. Uh, okay. <laughs> if he said light down face down, it would have been more so. It's not listening? What was that? Oh! Who? Pixie! Someone stop Pixie! Huh? Are you- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Pixie- True? Blame Pixie for this? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't dodge. I, I thought Pixie was going for an attack there. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Humbled so easily. Oh my god, he's protecting me. Pixie, what are you doing? What do you mean you found him? <laughs> Face down. Mizuki is becoming more and more useful. Basically, this entire arc is just like, you need spirit. You need to be able to detect spirits or you need spirit and like magic. That's why these two are so important. Oh, right, there she goes. Get your glasses off. It's like, oh my gosh, you see so much spirits everywhere. It's smiling again. Kinda creepy, kinda creepy. Hey, hey, hey. Honoka? Hon what about Honoka? Honoka's actually possessed too? Why, why, why? 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 Pattern? Honoka thought waves? Oh, that's why she hugged <laughs> That's why she hugged Onisama. That makes a lot of sense. Wait, why would it have Honoka's pattern? Why her specifically? That's funny though. Why she hugged immediately Onisama makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Residual thoughts. Hmm. Yeah. Tell me what else you're thinking about Onisama. Oh, say something degenerate. Come on, say something. Why? But why Honoka? <laughs> I mean, let's fucking go, Honoka. Honoka's getting more spotlight this season. This is all just telepathy? Actual telepathy. I thought it was some like, I don't know, like... Like she wasn't talking obviously, but she had like falling speakers everywhere. It's actually talking to us though and being friendly. Hmm. It's so smiling too, kind of creepy. Too many to count. No? 
Knowledge is detached from the host's personality. But Honoka was never the host, so why would it... Huh? That's a really interesting concept. They just completely forget. They completely forget about everything from the previous host. But residual memories... Yes. Self-preservation? Hmm. Likes and dislikes, like uh, Onisama, huh? Romantic interests, hmm? Honoka, too. Okay, Pixie. I like Pixie, so can we consider her a friend right now? Yeah. Are you? Okay? Because of Honoka. <laughs> oh, this is Honoka's thoughts. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why her thoughts, though? Out of everybody. Strong and highly pure thoughts. <laughs> she has really pure thoughts about Onisama, huh? How pure are they? <laughs> Just a single desire for Onisama. So pure. Prayer? Honoka almost prays to Onisama? <laughs> I think she does, though. She 100% does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. I thought if anybody would be like Miyuki's thoughts or something, but it's Honoka. This is even better. This fucking girl, dude. Honoka actually rising very high in my ranking of girls in this show. In the absence of Shizuku, Honoka has been stepping up. You know, she's been going double time. You just exist? Okay. Huh. That only some of the surgery, the, his purpose in life. He is kind of similar, huh? How strong can these psychic powers go rather than telepathy? No more smiling? What? No, oh, come on! That's a fancy car. Damn. Where are we going? Yeah, exactly, right? So is it completely inorganic? Yutsuma Mansion? Are we finally visiting? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Miyuki has piano lessons here? Okay. What's going on, Yutsuma? Are you checking yourself out in the window? What's going on? Wait. <laughs> this is, is this creepy? I don't know. I mean, he cares a lot about her, right? She's being, he's being the bodyguard, but they have the vision. <laughs> the fact that he can, like, know exactly what's going on. Oh? Wait. Who the? Why? Who? Lena's team. Damn, we're both on surveillance right now, huh? Except they don't know that we're aware. Wait. Is she about to use her crazy weapon? What is that weapon? Man, this is so much more lonely. I wish we had Sylvie in here, man. We have two random people now. Oh shit, here we go. Only someone probably already knows and is ready. Boom! Get fucked! Would he use demon right on them? Would he? Wait! I didn't realize. Wow! The window he can repair it to? Bowers is back? Okay, these are not just random people, I guess. They, they got a little. Augmented human. Oh, that's fucked up. That's actually fucked up. Wait. Wait, they're actual bullets this time. Rather than, you know, demon right them going poof. Probably something of magic deflecting. I'm not really sure, but usually when we use that gun, it's like never bullet pierces. Oh! Was that the weapon? Huh. It just kind of disappears. It didn't destroy the building behind, though. Okay. What is that? Is there any point of her? No, she needs to wear the mask for the public. What spell? Is it a strategic tier? It is! Heavy metal burst! So this can compete with material burst. Wait, did he just say heavy material burst? No, metal burst. Okay, it's different. Why did she leave her position? Does she have ulterior motives? Does Lina want something else? Maybe she wants to bring Onisama somewhere else and talk. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. Interesting, why? Maybe she's actually on our side. Please save me. N never mind. <laughs> never mind. Well, if we got hit by that, can we do regrowth? Heavy metal burst. 
Wait, can't even dodge it? Yo, that's a hit! That's a hit! Damn, his arm's gone! Holy shit, regrowth. What is that? That which pierces. Okay, it's a god of a Celtic... It's a weapon of a Celtic god? It's a fucking mythical... It's a mythical weapon? This is some high school DxD shit, dude. Like the spear longiness or fucking like, you know, like Mjolnir. Keep you as a sex slave in a dungeon. <laughs> Imagine what Honoku would do, bro. She feels a little guilty there, huh? Hmm. Oh. He just fucking jammed it in. Oh, the arm's back. Regrowth. He's probably buying time. He was buying time, right? They don't know about regrowth. That was a little erotic, though, when he shoved his gun up her gun. Ah. Uh. That's right, that's right. They didn't know about regrowth. Should have done your homework. Bro! Wait, wait, wait. Can she take these injuries, though? I, I, I know they're not lethal, but, like, what is she gonna do about these injuries? Holy fuck. Yes, and join our harem. Ooh. Oh my. Good night. Damn! You don't have to get so personal, but I think he is right. Because, you know, only someone doesn't have those emotions. He can be a cold, ruthless robot. Sasuga, only someone. Oh, we did it off screen. Damn! Only someone is honestly just on a two different level. This is another strategic class magician, but even that, like... Well, it's because it's not that she lacks the power. It's just, you know, experience and... Oh, I forgot. We can also do regrowth on her. I've completely forgot. But, like, um, she has those emotions that keeps her from being as cold as Onisama. Saigu... What? Current leader of Saigu's family is... Oh, is it Saigu's mom? Who is that? Wait. No, it's a dad. Dad, okay. Can, wait, wait. This is a perfect time to go visit her family. Okay, piano lesson's done. Crazy, Onisama just defeated a fucking strategic... Does she know something happened? Would Honoko have known? I don't know, they're pretty attentive to detail, but... Crazy, in this fan of her piano lesson, we just defeated a whole ass fucking strategic... Okay, so she does know. She does know. How does she know? This blood? How the fuck? What? One on one. It kind of was, but I guess they had backup. I guess it's because of the other people that we also fought. <laughs> Miyuki. <laughs> a lot of uh, shameful moments from Yuki today. Getting humble by Onisama a couple times. Yeah, that, that is true. But the shit you guys do beyond that is a bit too much. Mm. This might be actually true. Is this true though? Can anyone really not defeat him? There's no one in this world? Damn. Yeah, if he has the fucking Miyuki buff, if he has the little sister buff, then of course he's never gonna lose. <laughs> Those eyes, bro. Only Honoka can rival that look. Okay. Lena wakes up. She's completely healed up. Does she even remember what happened? She does. Data got entirely wiped too. It's like nothing ever happened. The wounds too, yeah? Yeah? He took all your pain for you. Yeah, you forgot that Onisama's the main character of this show. But instead, he is... Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure the category of what he does, but... He, he's a god? Wait, was there something more to the arm going away than I thought? It's just her not knowing about regrowth, right? Because she was just buying time for regrowth to happen and then immediately snuck up on her, right? Their entire HQ's gone. At the end there, when Lena was calling in, no one's picking up. Was that, you know, the gilf, the grandma, you know, the one that kicked Sylvie out? Was that her group being gone too? I'm not sure if I misunderstood that. She had a fucking whole ass mythical weapon, bro. She had a fucking... Now, I don't know what our sniper weapon is, but we have, presumably, just a normal sniper gun. It's not a normal sniper gun, but it's, it's, it's like a sniper gun, right? She has a fucking mythical god's weapon, and it's still not enough to be like Onisa. But I hear that people are saying that this weapon, Heavy Metal Burst, is... Is this stronger than Material Burst? Or at least it's on the same tier of what puts Magician as a... Uh, uh, what's it called? A strategic class Magician, right? So it's still hype regardless. That fight was great, but somehow, Honoka's scene in the beginning 
How the fuck is that slice of life moment more impactful to me than that? I don't know. It's this show being built upon everyone's simping for only summer. Honoka has been like fucking simping since season one. It's really funny to see that her pure desires is what made up this pixie now. So I guess she's our friend. Moving forward, I hope Lena joins our side. I mean, I don't think we'll be enemies forever, right? It's just temporary and eventually I think we'll have to help each other. And I do want to go see Mr. Koichi. You know, side says dad, presumably. If it's not, who knows? But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.